Today I just wanted to share a few quick tips to support your child with their writing. Now the tips that I'm going to share today are generally for younger children, so children in key stage one, reception year one and year two, or children with additional learning needs that might need a bit of extra support with their writing. So today is just a very basic example of some of the little things that you can do to really enhance your child's writing. And also it can be quite fun as well. So what I would do if you're finding that your child is struggling to think of their own sentences and get their ideas on paper, often you see that children have either got loads of ideas and they can't get them all down, or they're brilliant at writing but they haven't actually got the ideas to put down on paper. So it's kind of like bridging that gap. So what I like to do is use a strategy which is also from Read Write Inc called Hold a Sentence. And what we do with Hold a Sentence is that you and your child create a sentence together or if your child is really struggling, you can give them the sentence. And this sentence needs to be at their level. So a sentence really that includes some of the spelling words that you might be working on with your child, some of the phonic sounds that your child might have been working on and something that they are interested in. OK, so anything at all that you feel that your child would enjoy writing about. OK, once you've decided on those things, you're going to then create the sentence together. OK, and probably make it between five and ten words long. So I'm just going to do a really quick example for you. Let's say that my child is learning the ow sound and we are also learning how to spell house and we are really into Lego. OK, so I'm going to try and get all of those things into my sentence. Also, if I can make my sentence a bit silly or fun, even better, because it will probably make my child a little bit more engaged with it. So I have gone for a silly clown knocked my Lego house down. OK, so with my child, now I'm going to talk through that sentence and we're going to say it together over and over again. So a silly clown knocked my Lego house down. And again, a silly clown knocked my Lego house down. I'm going to put, uh, put it on our fingers. A silly clown knocked my Lego house down. Oh, it's got eight words. OK, we're going to keep doing this over and over again until that sentence is embedded in yours and your child's heads, okay? Then you're gonna have a little bit of a think about all the things that you'd love to see in your child's sentence. So things like a capital letter to start the sentence, finger spaces between each word, and a full stop at the end of your sentence, okay? Now, what I like to do next is a little bit of acting and movement. So you might now, act the sentence out. So you might be the silly clown knocking the Lego house down. You might actually physically build the Lego house and watch the silly clown knock it down. You might stamp out your sentence with your feet. So as you say each word, do your stamping. You might dance or make up a dance with your sentence. You might whisper your sentence. You might shout your sentence. All sorts of different things with that sentence to get that sentence really, really secure and embedded in your child's head. Once they know the sentence really well, you can have a go at writing it. So you're actually modeling that process for them. So you would then write a silly clown knocked my Lego house down and let them watch you as you write it and go through the thought process that you're having when you're writing because this really shows your child how to write because actually that in itself is the skill. So I'd be saying things like, oh, well, I need to start my sentence with a capital letter. So A needs to be a capital letter. Then I need to put my finger space in before I put my new word. And then I need to sound out silly. So S, I, L, E, silly, silly. And then I'd have a go at writing silly. Now, it doesn't matter if at this stage your child can't spell silly as long as they can write it with the right sounds. So I would be expecting to see the S, I, L, and then possibly that double E if your child can and is at that stage in phonics. If not, 
then just whatever that they can do that resembles that word but don't get too like upset if they're not spelling words correctly at this stage just try and praise them for whatever they are doing um a little bit of an aside is that really we're trying to encourage that writing process we don't want to be doing things that are going to make your child switch off from it and get fed up and not want to do it so the more we can praise and celebrate the good things about their writing, the better. And also just keep it fun. So a silly, and now I'm up to my next finger space, and then I need clown, and I'm going to have to sound out clown. Clown, clown, clown. And then I'm going to point out that that clown has got the ow sound that we're learning. And we might just, again, re recap that ow sound and talk about that. And I'll keep doing that until I've got to the end of my sentence. So at each stage, I'm talking through that process and reminding them of the things that we want to be seeing in our sentences. Obviously, this depends on your child's age. And I'm sure you know better than I do where your child is up to. So you can adapt that to suit wherever your child is at. Okay, and if you need any help with that, please do send me a message. So you've gone through the process of writing that sentence out in front of your child, letting them see you have a go at writing. Another thing that children love is when we make mistakes. So often I will write my sentence without a finger space or I will write it without sounding my words out. And they love pointing out all of my mistakes and saying that I didn't include a finger space or I didn't put my full stop or I didn't do a capital letter. And again, it just gets them really thinking about what, we need to be doing in our writing and in our sentences okay so once you've had a go at writing the sentence you can now ask your child to have a go at writing the sentence and they're not going to copy the sentence they're going to purely do it from what they can remember and at this point you're then going to just act as a, the praiser if you like you're going to be the person that just celebrates what they have written um, don't worry about any things that aren't ideal or perfect. Just celebrate the fact that they've written something, that you can read it and they've remembered lots of their sentence. And then if there are little bits that you think, oh, they could have done that a bit better, ask your child what they think those bits are. So rather than you pointing out the mistakes to them, you ask them to see if they could spot them. Can they improve their own sentence? Which just makes it a little bit more um interactive for them and a less negative i think that's everything so that was just a very quick and easy example of one of the ways that you can enhance your child's writing there's loads of examples to support writing out there so keep on doing all the other different things that you will be doing at the moment but that is just something that's really quick and I do really believe that it supports children those building blocks of how to write sentences and all of the different things that are needed within sentences and it's just a quick fun and easy activity to do and you can apply it to anything so you can make it link to whatever you've done that day if you've done some baking you might write a sentence about the baking that you did if you've done been out in the garden it might be something that you did outside and again if you can try to incorporate some of your child's sounds and spellings and anything else that they're interested in that makes it all the better i'll try to keep thinking of more little strategies like this and share them with you in the coming days